President Biden delivering his final address to the U.N. General Assembly today, rallying world leaders to come together and tackle some of the biggest challenges. I truly believe we're at another inflection point in world history. But the choices we make today will determine our future for decades to come. The president has said seeing an end to Israel's war with Hamas is a top priority before he leaves office. But ceasefire negotiations have stalled and tensions have risen with fears of a wider conflict in the region. I put forward with Qatar and Egypt a ceasefire and hostage deal. Now is the time for the parties to finalize its terms. Bring the hostages home and secure security for Israel and Gaza free of Hamas grip ease the suffering in Gaza and end this war. Biden also doubling down on support for Ukraine at war with Russia. Just today, Ukraine's Air Force saying Russia launched an attack sending 81 Iranian drones into Ukraine. We cannot grow weary. We cannot look away. And we will not let up on our support for Ukraine. Not to Ukraine wins of just and durable peace. The speech marking his last chance to address world leaders, Biden using the opportunity to highlight his accomplishments as president. Let us never forget, some things are more important than staying in power. It's your people. It's your people that matter the most. Biden is scheduled to meet with Ukrainian President Zelensky. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will also be in town this week, but at this time there are no plans for he and Biden to meet. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.